Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R730XD. In this video we're going to focus on how to rack my R730XD. Let's get going. Well hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R730XD. Do us a favor if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. Alright, so this video is going to be uh, focused on how to take my server and put it into a rack. It's really just that simple. All you're going to need is a set of rails and uh, obviously the rack and uh, your server and it'll be honestly pretty simple as a whole. Um, I do recommend doing two, uh, having two people to do this. It just makes the process a lot easier. Uh, so we'll have an extra tech in the back um, and then I'll show you how to do it from the front. Let's get going. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the left rail first. Uh, you'll notice that it, it says left on it, and then here are the inners that slide plus the outer, so it's the complete uh, part of the rail kit for the left side. So one of our techs is in the back, so uh, Angel, we're going to line this up on 16 and 17, so go ahead and grab that. And you heard his click in, so now I'm going to come over and line mine up perfectly at 16 and 17 and then you'll hear this click when I push it in and now it's fully in and you can see it uh, when I push it or I shake it right here that it's not coming loose and it's in there which I do recommend just make sure so that it's not uh, potentially where it feels like it's setting in and then something bad happens if you do need to remove it uh, which might be the reason someone's watching this video this blue clip right here when you pull this out you will then be able to actually take the rail off, okay? And then he just did it in the back and then now the rail is off. So we'll go ahead and put it on one more time just to show you how easy it is. So just again, 16, 17, Angel. And we are all set, so we'll go ahead and do the right rail next. All right, so we're gonna do the uh, right side of the rail kit. Just make sure you have the inners and outers. Angel, we're gonna do 16, 17 again. So just line everything up properly. Push it in, you'll hear it clip in, and again, if I shake it, it's fully in there. And then you can see the rails slide in and out. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually put the server into the uh, rails now. All right, so now we're gonna physically put it in, uh, put the server into the rails. So we're just gonna slide the rails out. And you'll notice that there are several layers to the inner rails. Um, and within the inner rails, there are these carved out uh, notches. And on the server itself, if you look, you'll see these rivets that stick out, these notches here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the back two, and we're going to drop them in. So Angel, let's put the back two in and line everything else up from there. And then we're just going to kind of slowly set it down into the other uh, correct notches. And you, Hopefully you heard the click on camera, but it clicks just a little bit. And then in order to slide this back, we're just gonna need to push the blue tabs on each side. And this will slide into place. And now we have officially racked our R730XD. So thanks for stopping by. If you found anything in this video useful, do us a favor, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any R730XDs yourself or any other servers for that matter, Dell, HP, Supermicro, Cisco, IBM, we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Please email our team at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks again for stopping by. Take care, guys.